Yo, what's up? This is Eli from Hip Hop Headmasters. Um, R.I.P. to the rappers that are not here with us. One hour of silence. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, bro. This video about rappers we wish we could bring back to life. This is my personal opinion, all right? So uh, it won't work with anybody. So number one on the list for me is Juice World. I wish I could bring Juice World to life, like seriously. I'll gladly swap Juice World with um, 69. Yeah, I'll do that. I even wish he's living or maybe he maybe he faked his own death or something. I wish that shit happened, man. Because uh, dude predicted his own death on a song called Legends, if you have heard that song before. He said himself that he's not making it past 21. Was it 27 club? Uh, uh, uh. I started feeling Juice World when I heard uh, his freestyle song Hot 97 and also Tim Westwood TV. Uh, I think he did a freestyle too on Capital Extra, BBC. And he was doing a one hour freestyle on Eminem Beats on Tim Westwood TV. And he was just going over and over again. He was just going, 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 never repeating himself. I was like, damn, who is this kid, bro? <laughs> it was crazy. Like, that's when I first noticed Juice World and I started like, whoa, I should really dig into this guy, man. So I downloaded some of his tracks, you know. I went to Spotify, streamed some of his music. I didn't really like his music, like Fats, all right? Um, apart from Lucid Dreams, I really f with Lucid Dreams, though. I like Lucid Dreams, and he did another song. I think it's Robbery. That was also cool. Now I'm running from your love. I'm not fast, so I'm making it worse. But apart from those songs, I don't really feel all of songs like that. So that's it. But Juice World, he was rocking, man. Personally, for me, it was his freestyles. Like, he was crazy, man. He was crazy. Like, he was just going, man. He, he had some word play that I was like, damn, damn. I was just saying, damn, damn, damn. The whole freestyle video, man. It was crazy. I fuck with his freestyle, man. I mean, I think personally, apart from Eminem, he's one of the greatest freestylers, man. Facts. If you ask me, I'm balling on his host like an athlete. I don't think nobody gonna come better after me. So Juice WRLD died of a seizure on board on an airplane. Uh, I think he was doing some drugs and he decided to take everything into himself. So um, that's what the saying happened. So we're gonna take it like that. But, but Juice WRLD said he would not leave past 21. So I think maybe he knew he was going to die or something. Maybe uh, secret occult shit. I don't know. But it could happen, it could be probably true. So Juice World was born on 2nd December and he died on 8th December. So it's like 6 days after his birthday, the dude died, man. It's sad and this shit is kind of crazy. A lot of people die on the same month they were born. I don't know, is it, what the fuck is that, man? So the second rapper I wish was alive is Pop Smoke, man. Like Pop Smoke is one of the best drug artists, man, no question asked. First time I heard him, I was like, wow, this shit is crazy. And his beats were crazy. Like, personally, I'm a fan of drill. I really like drill beats. Like, I go crazy over them. And he was one that really mastered it, man. Like, fast. She like the way that I dance. She like the way that I move. She like the way that I rock. She like the way that I... Pop Smoke died in Los Angeles. I think it was Los Angeles uh, by three men. But the story was like, he gave out his own address, which is crazy because uh that's why rappers have to be really conscious about a lot of things because he took a picture right and the picture had his address his exact location on the picture right and i think he posted something on social media and his address was somewhere man so the people who didn't like him or people who really wanted to f him up they knew his address they knew exactly where to go and they just went there to finish him off man so you rappers out there you should really be conscious of some things you now you don't have to really post anything online you know you don't have to disclose your current location all the time it's crazy man especially if you don't have guard if you don't have security with you it's it's crazy anything can happen right it's not everybody that likes you you know a lot of people don't like the music you do a lot of people also f with you if you have about hundred thousand fans okay you should be really aware that you have about 300,000 haters, like times three of that are haters. You, sh you, sh you should know that. Dude was young. I think he was born in 1999. So right now, he would have been like 22 years now, man. Like He was too young, man. But anyway, that's what happened, bruh. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. So third rapper I wish was alive was Tupac, man. Tupac 
uh, basically he's the king of hip hop. To me personally, I think a lot of people will disagree with me. Some will say Biggie did better than Tupac, and like I listened to Biggie a while, and sure he did good, he did good. But I really like the story behind Tupac's success, you know. So the reason why I wish Tupac was alive is that he started making hits or he started popping at 20 years. Dude died at 25 years. Within just five years, he did a lot of crazy things. He did, he did things that people would dream of. Like he did he did things that rappers could only dream of, right? Like within that five years, right? He had many awards. Dude got movies. He did a lot of whole lot of albums, man. He did several albums. And it's crazy being able to do all that shit in five years. That's really some great accomplishments, man. So I'm thinking if Tupac was still alive by now, he'd probably be the king of the world. Seriously. <laughs> like, ain't no joke. Because just five years, look at what he did. Time to fight back, that's what Huey said. Two shots in the dark, now Huey's dead. I got love for my brother, but we can never go nowhere. Let me, let me see if I could find out some accomplishments he made on, on the internet. So, okay. So Tupac became the first artist to ever have an album at number one on the Billboard 200 while serving the prison sentence. You feel me? Dude, do you feel me? Whilst in prison, his album was number one on the Billboard. Like, that's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, okay, MTV ranked him number two on their list of greatest MC of all time. That's, that's crazy, man. He sold 75 million records worldwide. Dude. Do you understand that? Do, do, do you see the numbers in this shit? We just five years, right? Doing all that shit in five years. It's crazy. So I really wish Tupac was alive, man. I really love his songs. Um, Only God could judge me. His favorite line. I really love that line, man. Only God could judge me, man. It's true, man. Only God could judge you, bro. Uh, Unborn Child was a really close up song to me. Listen to Unborn Child, it really takes my mind some places, man. It really, it really connects to me. So I wish Tupac was alive for real, man. Rest in peace, bro. If there's a heaven for G's, I'll see you there, bro. Yo, so far on the list is Nipsey Hussle, man. Like, Nipsey Hussle to me was a representation of myself. Dude was an independent rapper, man. He was signed to no label, but he still had this endorsements and shit. Puma and shit. But the thing is, I really connect with Nipsey Hussle because I'm an independent rapper myself, but... I don't really want to get all that label thing, you know, me reading online about labels, you know, how they f you up as an artist and how they try to milk you dry. It's crazy, man. It's, it's really, so to me, he's really an, like someone I look up to, right? Because he's also an independent artist. Yeah. So that's it. Nipsey also, uh, I really like his song, like, I really like his kind of style. I don't really like his voice, though. His voice, <laughs> seriously, his voice doesn't get to me at all, but I really like his flow. His flow is crazy, man. He has some cool flow, you know, step-by-step -step flow. He doesn't really rhyme really quickly. He just be taking his time, say everything one by one, let it get into your head. And he got some wordplay, too, so that's cool. The song that I really relate with, Nipsey also is Hustle and Motivate. I really listen to that song like every other time, man. I listen to the song for a while. I get tired over it. Then I put it down a little bit for about like a week. Then I listen to it again and I get a lot of inspiration from it. I also like the track he did with Rudy Rich. Uh, I think it was Racks in the Middle. Uh, I rather be talking with the Racks in the Middle. Uh, that song, man. I think the song title was Racks in the Middle. I don't know if that's what the title was. You, Rudy Rich kept saying, I be riding around V12 with the racks in the middle. Once again, I prevail. Knew that shit was over from the day I dropped my pre-sale. Hold up, let the beat build. Yeah, that song, man. I really love that song, man. I like his verse on it. It's crazy. The video too was dope, like real, man. A lot of people started noticing Nipsey Hussle when he was dead. And that was, that was kind of sad. Personally, I think that's kind of sad because he was really popping, but he was really doing good, right? He was an entrepreneur. He was looking out for his neighborhood and shit. But he got shot on his own clothing store, man. It's crazy. But people started knowing who he was when he was dead. Like, what was, what was, what was the essence of that, man? <laughs> but I'm glad his words still alive, man. His music still lives on. He lives on the hearts and mind of people, so it's all good. So that's for it uh, for Nipsey Hussle, bro.
Fifth on the list is excess tentation. <laughs> so if we're talking about emotional rappers, right? Rappers that rap about depression, sad shit, about death and shit. Now, you can go past excess tentation because he's really dope. I really love his music and I think he was too young to die, man. 20 years old. Damn, you could have done better, bro. When you leave, I see to let go. Like you living all of us in depression and shit, man. I think about it, and I'm like, what's the essence, man? Dying 20 years old, man. You just, you just get a fame a little bit. You started popping not too long ago, then you just lose it all, man. It's crazy, man. So, excess tentation was shot in his car. Uh, I think it was in Florida, and I think he was too young to die, man. He was born on January. I think it's 2010, 1998. Man, he's the same he's the same age as I am, 23 years. That's crazy, man. And he died at 20 years old. He was too young to die, man. So folks, that's it for the video. But I didn't want to keep it long and I really wanted to focus on people that I really care about, you know, rappers that I really listen to. I didn't want to do a video of rappers I've never heard or I've never listened to because I wouldn't know what to say about them, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. More amazing content coming up on the channel very soon. I upload every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, you know. So keep it locked down, you know. Keep watching the channel. Subscribe, man. This is Eli from Hip Hop Headmasters. Stay fly. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out, bruh.